when you guys plan to roll out the FSD beta to countries other than US and Canada? Uh, it should be possible to roll, roll out S FSD beta uh, uh, worldwide by the end of this year. You know, for, for a lot of countries, we need regulatory approval. Um, and so we are somewhat gated by the regulatory approval in other countries. You know, I, but I think from a technical standpoint, it will be ready to go uh, to, to a worldwide beta by the end of this year. Welcome back. You know, we've heard from Elon Musk in the past that full self-driving or autonomous driving is coming in 2015, 2016. It'll be here in 2018. It's not far away in 2019. In 2020, it's just around the corner. And in 2021, it'll be available by 2022. So why is this time different? G'day, and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now, and let's drive. Your primary sensors are uh, two uh, cameras on a slow gimbal, a very slow gimbal. Um, that's, uh, that's your head. Uh, so if, if, um, you know, if a biological neural net with, with uh, two cameras on a slow gimbal can drive a semi-truck, then um, if you've got like eight cameras with continuous 360 degree vision uh, operating at a higher frame rate and much higher reaction rate, um, then I think it is obvious that you should be able to drive a semi or any, any vehicle much better than a human. Tesla uses advanced neural networks to train their full self-driving autonomous software and the computing power they apply to this has recently gone through an exponential growth curve so it can now process in a week what used to take a month. This means that billions of frames of information being fed from all of the beta test drivers around the world can be processed far more quickly than it could in the past. Elon Musk has long been criticized for loose timelines and goals around full autonomy. Despite this, Tesla recently raised the price of FSD beta to $15,000. There are plenty of detractors, however, and competitors to Tesla have been critical of the slow progress made by the industry. George Hotz, founder of the open source assisted driving company Comma.ai, told Bloomberg in October 2022, it's a scam. These companies have squandered billions of dollars. Anecdotally and statistically, there are accounts of self-driving cars getting into accidents, some fatal. Other skeptics include Anthony Lewandowski. He is credited by some for kickstarting the industry, eventually leading to Lewandowski co-founding Google's self-driving program in 2009, which today is known as Waymo. The Guardian, however, recently presented a YouTube video called why self-driving cars have stalled. It would be easy to believe that we are on the verge of fully self-driving future. Have you noticed the increase in headlines referring to autonomous driving appearing during 2022? Let's take a look at a few. Lyft and Uber both gave up on developing their own self-driving cars, but the ride-hailing networks are still proving instrumental in rolling out driverless technology. Uber has just announced a 10-year deal with Motional, a Hyundai joint venture to deploy robo-taxis in its network in cities across the United States. Other autonomous vehicle developers, notably Waymo, Cruise and Amazon Zoox, are building proprietary robo-taxi networks. Waymo says it's bringing robo-taxis to Los Angeles with its driverless car service already operating in Phoenix and San Francisco. The Waymo company is owned by Google parent company Alphabet. Waymo's technology uses detailed mapping to define the areas in which it can operate. This is quite different to Tesla, who are producing full self-driving software that can operate anywhere by developing an artificial general intelligence, AGI. This software is literally learning how to drive better than a human. Toyota-backed Chinese autonomous driving company Pony.ai is teaming up with Geely Holding Group, one of China's largest privately owned car makers and the owner of Sweden's Volvo Cars, to build a fleet of autonomous taxis. Pony aims to operate an autonomous taxi or robo-taxi service in Xuxiang in China's eastern province this year. More than 10 cities in China have approved commercial trials of autonomous vehicles, inclusive of taxis and urban buses, in designated areas and specific periods of time. 
John Deere & Co, well known for its green and yellow tractors, bulldozers and lawnmowers, have spent nearly two decades investing in technology and robotics. They have developed a fully autonomous version of the R8 farm tractor that does not require someone to be behind the wheel. The global fleet of such vehicles is already in the order of 50. John Deere plans to build a world of fully autonomous farming by 2030. IKEA is testing autonomous delivery in Texas. This pilot program will feature a Kodiak truck transporting products between an IKEA warehouse to an IKEA store in San Francisco, a distance of nearly 300 miles, without a driver. Tesla's full self-drive beta software in late 2022 is now very close to an international rollout. It may be 2023 before we see this software in Australia, but the global tester community now exceeds 160,000 vehicles. Tesla has removed the ultrasonic sensors from its earlier vehicles and now relies entirely on Tesla Vision to literally train its neural network, Dojo Computer, how to drive. This software is regularly updated in the Tesla vehicle fleet via over-the-air software updates. In October of 2022, Tesla recently added the name of an Australian and Asian vehicle testing ground to its software code. There are other vehicle testing grounds also listed in the code, located in Europe, China and Korea. This could be in anticipation of a wider global release of the FSD beta software. At the same time, Tesla's autopilot safety has been questioned after another fatal motorcycle crash. This is apparently the third fatal motorcycle crash and follows a similar line of events with a person driving a Tesla early in the morning hours with autopilot active striking a motorcycle from behind. Surveys have shown that a number of drivers of many brands of semi-autonomous cars consider their vehicle to be actually self-driving, when in fact they are still level 2 vehicles requiring focused driver attention. Driver confidence is too high at present for the capabilities of the software. Tesla also announced enhancements are coming soon to their smart summons feature, and I'm personally looking forward to park seek mode. When you arrive at your destination you simply step out at the entrance and your car will enter park seek mode and automatically search for a parking space. A tap on your phone summons it back to you. Developments in the field of robotics are also leading rapidly to the development of semi-autonomous robotic machines that we would have considered science fiction just a few years ago. Tesla announced their bot at AI Day 2 on the 30th of September 2022. While it still has some way to go to be fully functional, the same development team that is building this technology is working on the self-driving software for Tesla motor vehicles. So will we see Tesla full self-driving software in Australia in 2023? Autonomy is coming and no other automaker has made the progress that Tesla has in advancing its potential. Eventually Tesla will get it right and full self-drive will ship with Tesla once again being years ahead of its competitors. I think that this is now more likely than it has ever been in the past. There is also a significant effort being made by a large number of vehicle manufacturers to increase the self-driving capabilities of their vehicles. This is across the industry from passenger vehicles to delivery trucks, food delivery, farming equipment and mining vehicles. This combined development will lead to far more rapid progress than has been evident from recent history. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.